Thank you. It's nice to be here. Uh, hi, my name is David Molnar. I am one of the software artists of Wasabi Wallet team. And I'm here to introduce you Wasabi Wallet. Wasabi is an open source, non-custodial, privacy-oriented wallet which implements trustless coin shuffle with a mathematically provable anonymity and its first of its kind, Schnorian coin join. Uh, as Mr. Snowden said, privacy is very important. It, it's not about hiding something, it's about protecting something, right? So why do we need privacy? Well, the most obvious answer is that you don't want other people knowing your business. How much money do you have? How much is your salary? How much do you pay for your employees? You can be an individual or you can have a business, both need privacy. It certainly not only matters to criminals. So, last time when I was abroad, I had to pay with a 500 euro banknote it's more than 500 bucks. And I was literally trying to hide the money during the payment because that amount can trigger someone. In Bitcoin, we have much more amounts and much more prying guys. So we really have to take care of our privacy. Privacy is a thing when you voluntarily share information, but only if you want to. Privacy is the act of choosing what to reveal to the world. Uh, what if I told you if you improve your own privacy, you will improve Bitcoin as a money itself? How come? Look at this. One BTC equal one BTC. If that would be an exchange rate calculator, that wouldn't be so useful. But here it has a different meaning. Good money has some axiomatic properties. Accessibility portability, divisibility, durability, fungibility, and so on. Fungibility is the interchangeability of money. One euro is one euro. It doesn't matter where it came from. It doesn't matter it was stolen two people before you. It's a euro, and it's exactly the same euro as every other euro, or treated as same. So you cannot say that I accept that euro, but I won't accept that other euro, because that's dirty money, that's evil, I won't touch it. So money is one type of property which cannot be stolen and recovered by their original owner. You cannot say that, give me back that money because that was stolen from me after two people. You can say to the person who stole it from you, but you can't just walk into the shop and, and say, hey, I'm going to sue you because you have my stolen money and give it back to me. So fungibility, to have fungibility, there is a very simple reason. Otherwise, money won't work. We see a lot of attempts uh, when companies trying to, to destroy fungibility. For example, freshly mined coins, coin-based coins, worth more than other coins. Or, on the other hand, in some way or another, they taint a coin which described as dirty and worth less or nothing than other coins. And this is a serious problem. So, as Mr. Snowden said, we all have to take responsibility and deny these technologies because if fungibility is destroyed, money will be destroyed, and with Bitcoin, we are building money. So we need fungibility. Imagine the following situation. Every time you receive a euro or a bitcoin, you have to check a centralized blacklist if it is dirty or not. It doesn't work, it doesn't scale. So if you improve your own privacy, you will improve fungibility, we will have a good money. If you improve your own privacy, we all will have a good money.